Hey everybody, this is Josh with Down to the Roots, and it's going on about a week now since I've started my pepper seeds and the paper towels, and I've been uh, putting some of them into their seed cells, so I figured I'd make a quick video on how I do that. And you can see I've already got some of them in their cells, because as they germinate, I will start putting them in their seed cell, because you want to do that as quick as possible. You take a chance on breaking the little root off that starts whenever uh, you let them go too long because it will get like an inch longer so really quick if you leave it in the paper towel so as they sprout I will just put them in their seed cell that's why I got like some scotch bonnets in with my jalapenos and stuff but as far as the germination rate of them all of my jalapenos except for one has sprouted it took them I think three or four days to start sprouting after I put them in the paper towel which is pretty quick all of my super hots are starting to sprout too. Like you can see I've got six of my reapers put up already and I've got uh, five of my mustard ghosts put in already. So they have started. You can see these little uh, black sticks here. That's just little scrap pieces of zip ties. And what I do is once I have a variety that needs to be potted up like these chocolate bootless, I had one that sprouted before the rest of them have. So I went ahead and made a seed cell filled it full of my sterile seed starting mix and planted that one seed and then what i do is i just mark the rest of them with something to let me know that there's not a seed in there yet so whenever another chocolate bootless seed sprouts i can just pull this out put the seed down in there and i'm ready to go but you can use uh, toothpicks you can use uh, little pieces of popsicle sticks or whatever you want to it don't matter just whatever you have laying around to mark the empty seed cells I've got a scotch bonnet here that's ready to go into the soil and there's a couple like a couple of Anaheims and a couple more uh, Jimmy Nardellos that are ready to go but I don't know if you can see this that's a little scotch bonnet it's got a little pigtail coming out of it I will take some pictures of these and put it at the end of the video and I've got some pictures of the jalapenos that I took after they started sprouting but basically what you do is once they sprout like that They'll crack open and have that little pigtail sticking out. You want to put them in your seed starting mix as soon as possible. Now, the seed starting mix I use is a sterile seed starting mix. It is just a homemade one. It's just two parts hydrated coconut core and one part perlite. You can buy a store-bought seed starting mix that works just fine, but you do want a sterile seed starting mix. Now, the reason you want a sterile seed starting mix is your uh, little seedlings are really bad for the damping off disease, killing them. What that is, is it's a fungus that will eat at the base of your little seedling once it starts, and it will kill your seedling pretty quick. The uh, reason for that is it's a uh, fungus spore. It could either be in the air and land in your seed starting mix, or it could already be in it. It don't really hurt bigger plants, but little seeds, start, little seedlings, as soon as they start, it will kill them pretty quick. So that is why you need to use a sterile seed starting mix. So what I do is I use these little, I think they're the 2 by 2 seed starting trays. They just, uh, this is a 70, 72 cell seed starting tray and has a little plastic dome on it that I keep over it. But what I do is I basically just fill these up with soil, or my seed starting mix. I've got it over here in a bucket. Let's see if I can't uh, do this without making a mess. But basically, I just put my mix in there. And what I like to do is kind of just tap it down. You don't want to pack it in there too tight because you do want to give the roots room to run. If you pack it in there too tight, then they'll struggle to spread out and it's not real good on your seedling. But basically, I just tamp it down like that. Then if it needs any more, I'll go ahead and top it off and kind of just tap them down a little bit just to make sure it's seated in there good take off any excess and that's basically your seed cell filled up and ready to go now what I'll do is I take my popsicle sticks I've already got this one labeled as S bonnet and I will put that in the tray so I know that's what's in there. I've only got one scotch bonnet seed that is ready to put in so I will go ahead and take some more of these little zip ties 
and pop in all the rest of the cells that way I know those don't have anything in them and then what I do to plant them is you want to put them about a quarter inch deep so I'll just take me a pencil or something and just make me a little hole in there now, it don't have to be exactly a quarter inch you can make it a little bit deeper but it's just going to take the seedling a little bit longer to come up out of the soil if you make it deeper so what I do is I take my seed you'll notice on these seeds usually the root will come out and either go up or down now you can just plop the seed down in there and cover it up and it will grow but if you ever planted seeds before you'll know sometimes that seedling will come up and it will have that seed shell on the leaves of it and sometimes it can end up killing your plant if you plant the seed straight up and down let me lay this down if you plant the seed straight up and down like this the root will come out and then the seed the seedling will shove that seed up out of the soil so what i like to do is i like to plant them flat so whenever the root comes out the root will come out and go down and the rest of the plant will crawl out of that seed and go up that way it don't shove your seed up out because once it shoves that seed up out and that seed shell gets dry because it's not in the soil anymore it's really hard to get off without damaging your plant but that's probably my ocd kicking in you can just throw them in there and yes they will grow <laughs> but so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this one seedling and drop it down in there and then i will take my pencil and just roll it over to make sure it's laying flat with the little root pointing down then you just cover it over and I don't know where my bottle went to but I've, I've got a bottle right here it went. And just like before I've got a bottle that has a couple holes drilled in it you can use a little spray bottle or anything like that but I just take this and dampen that cell down pretty decent And that's how you plant them and what I do is as they germinate I'll come down here once a day or twice a day and look at my seeds and as they germinate I will put them in a new cell like that until I get them all done but that's pretty well the video um, I will do an update once they sprout up just to show you what all they look like and and I will do an update when I put them in their new bigger containers because I do make a couple of different seed starting mixes that have some pretty good nutrients in them but they don't really need nutrients until they get their first set of true leaves or so but just subscribe to my channel to keep updated on my pepper grow in this season and if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment box below thanks for watching bye